Welcome, Mr. President. After a bitterly disputed election, some clashes outside the Parliament building were always likely to mark Mr. Peña Nieto's inauguration. At least one protester was gravely injured in the skirmishes with police who used tear gas and water cannon to disperse the demonstrators. Protesto guardar. Inside the building, however, the handover of power couldn't have been more orderly. The outgoing leader, Felipe Calderón, passed on the baton to his successor, President Enrique Peña Nieto, who will now lead one of the biggest economies in the world for the next six years. But Mexico has one major issue it needs to address above all others, the drug violence which has claimed more than 60,000 lives in the past six years. In the National Palace, the new president wasted little time in mentioning the thorny problem. We need to change the paradigm and understand that there won't be security while there is no justice. In the Mexico of the future, there will be justice and inclusion that will form the basis of a wider social pact. As he was delivering his first speech as president, there were more clashes in several points across the capital. Further evidence, if any were needed, that many voters fundamentally reject the return to a party they see as authoritarian and tainted by its past human rights record. Mr. Peña Nieto has waited weeks to receive the presidential sash and with it the responsibility for running a country in the midst of a violent drugs war. As well as tackling security and keeping the economy afloat, he must also try to win over a population sharply divided on his legitimacy as president. Will Grant. BBC News, Mexico City.